I'm sorry the lighting's not a bit better. Hey, what's going on, eh? What's going on? I need to go fighting. We can all just be friends. Ow. Maybe not yet. Yep, like I said, there'll be nothing I can do to stop these kittens fighting tonight. I've just been scratched by an otherwise completely tame kitten, so if I try and stop them fighting, I'm just going to get scratched again. I'm not allowed to take any kittens inside, so I'm just going to stay out and watch them. So we've got a brief interlude in the hostilities while the new kitten stops in the kitchen for a moment. He's hungry and wants protection. So I'm just out here watching her meat because if I go inside the other kitten who's just right there where you can't really see she'll come and attack him if I go inside Oh now I've realized something this one here maybe is the mother or father similar pattern I know that one I know that other cat and actually come to think of it that other cat was looked like it was breastfeeding about a month or two ago so that may be his mother or father I have to speak a bit quietly because I'm close to the room where other people are sleeping or maybe this one is the male wanting some food I don't see these one so often because they're feral. Oh. Looks like this little one's been scratched on the nose. and I'm normally feeding is scared of this other one we need to protect you somehow don't we Cupboard before she 
comes and attacks you. Then you go. You can stay in there for a few hours and have some rest, okay? Okay, have a bit of rest and by morning time there'll be lots of people around so the cats won't want to fight with you. Morning time's about two hours away so then there'll be lots of people up going to work. This one's obviously In for some food. I think it's time to put the food away so they don't have something to fight over. So once again if anyone would like to adopt this little white kitten send us an email or comment because there's too many other cats around for us in this size to be safe. He's already just got a scratch on his nose. I don't know if this one is the mother or father. This one here I'm looking at right now is feral. He just comes for the food and this one's just got out of the safe place I put him in. put the food out of the gate, out, outside of the gate because I don't like feeding the feral ones inside. By feral, the ones that aren't tame. So this one, he climbs the tree and runs away when I come close to him. He does that every time. Only comes late at night when no one's around. Okay, bye bye. And the new kittens following me around. I don't know why these guys think I'm their new mum. Especially when they've just met me about an hour ago. I don't know who's, who's making lots of noise back there. Very scared little kitten with good reason. We couldn't keep him safe by putting him in the shoe cabinet because he came out. He's not safe in here because of this kitten that I'm feeding. And he's not safe outside because of the feral cat who also gets fed by me because he comes and eats from what I put out when we're all asleep. Okay, but just tell me what you said happened, how the new kitten got here. Now found out what's happened after an hour of wandering around seeing what was happening. Uh, one of my friends who lives with us, who's working in a restaurant, brought him back from the bus station. He was lost and confused and um, did 
you bring him back to help him out? Yeah, he brought him back to help him out. So we're now going to try and protect him until the morning and then, um, then they should all settle down during the day because there's lots of people around. So um, we'll see what happens and keep following us, subscribe and follow us uh, so that you can see what happens with this little one. And we need a name for him. Anyone got a name? If you've got a name, just put it in the comments. Chico. Chico. It's a boy. Is Chico a boy? Isn't it? No, this is a boy cat, I checked. Okay, Chico is a boy cat. Okay. So, uh, maybe we have the name Chico. Alright, I'll put